Hey, creative friends. Oh, it's so great to be back in the garage this weekend. It's been a while since I've had a chance to use my uh, diode laser, the NAJ 30 watt. And um, I am coming back and revisiting this very thick piece of black acrylic. I think it's a quarter inch thick. I'll put a link below if anybody's interested. I had somebody come in and ask if I had um, had any more success with it. And honestly, I haven't done a whole lot with it since I had done that square test. Um, yesterday I did try this same design um, and I'll show you this in a little while I had some trouble with it cutting all the way through I think I can still salvage it by um, prying it out but um, my base was uneven and so I think that was the main reason it didn't cut out well at all and so I'm back in here today and trying it again I've just put it uh, raised a little bit off of some cardboard and so hopefully it's it's a little bit more even um, platform going across and so I've just done one pass at um, I don't know sometimes sometimes I've been told not to run it at a hundred percent so I'm actually running it at 95 percent laser power and 95 milliseconds for burning time and so it's going very slow it's taking it about nine to ten minutes um, per pass and so this is just a corner swirly design um, and so I hope this will uh, come out okay, and then I will show you, show you the piece. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will keep going. Okay, so it looks like I've done five passes so far, and that's the dimensions on the piece. And again, I am running it at 95% laser and 95 milliseconds, and just want to show you. I've got this little slip of paper with some marks on it. Um, yeah, there we go. So it's it's getting there. It's not it's not all the way through yet, but um, it's getting there. So that was five passes. So I'm probably going to do about another five passes, and then hopefully it will come right out. Okay, I'm not sure how well you can see this. I'm losing my natural light in the uh, garage tonight, but um, this is actually pass number 12. Um, it, it just takes so long, but you know, I am impressed that this device can cut through acrylic this thick, but um, I've, I've actually been cutting through on like the last two, two passes. I'm getting light up underneath the acrylic um, on all the curved pieces. I'm not sure if it has cut straight through on the straight parts yet, but the curved pieces it is cutting straight through. So, um, but anyway, just wanted to report in. This is pass number 12. So, unfortunately, neither one of these uh, have cut all the way through. I'm just trying to get some light behind it so you can see. Um, the second one that I cut is better. But it's still that corner. I'm going to have to try to hack at it and see if I can get these pieces to come out. Okay, well I'm so excited I have finally gotten these pieces out. I have been working at it for several days on and off. But uh, I've got this great little multi-tool that my brother-in-law gave me. And this little um, letter opener was thin enough to get into the grooves. Unfortunately, I've um, lost the tip tip of it during that process, but this was super helpful. And um, these pieces are what has come out. And here is the slice uh, that's left over. And I am going to try to think of something to, to do um, with this leftover piece. I think it would be really cool backlit or something like that. So if I figure something out I will let you know and then if you have any suggestions for these little guys you know let me know um, and of course this acrylic is thick enough to where these could sit on their own so that was my thinking with these is I wanted to do like a uh, frame decoration or a window decoration or anything like that and just be very careful this acrylic this thick acrylic if you have trouble cutting it out like I did it's super super sharp so I did uh, have a few 
scratches along the way. And so I have not touched these pieces up yet. I just barely uh, got the last uh, piece popped out. So now I'm going to take some fine grit sandpaper and maybe a nail file and try to smooth out all these edges. And then it will be ready to, uh, once I get this flat, then it will be ready to sit up in the window. Okay, so I've gotten the edges just about as smooth as I can with just the uh, tools that I have on hand with sandpaper and nail files. Um, and, and I'm pleased with them. They're, they're quite a bit smoothed down and one of them will stand on its own. But um, I just think they're, they're pretty and they're decorative. And so I'm going to just prop them in a window for now on two sides of the window just for... Um, I could also come in and use these um, as decorative shelf brackets too. You know, something like that to cover up a shelf bracket. So all in all, I am uh, pleased with these. And of course it's, uh, it's, it's much thicker acrylic and it takes quite a while, but that diode laser 30 watt was able to, for the most part, cut it out. And then I just had to kind of chisel the pieces out and then sand, them, sand down the edges. So thanks so much for watching.